now on Tyra. and every guy is going to wish that his girl never saw. We're talking about the secret and unwritten rules that many men live by. The rules that dictate that a guy must always put his buddies before any woman in his life. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the bro code. Yeah, like if you're a guy and your friend or even, not even your friend, just some guy you know is cheating on his wife, do you tell the wife? No, because it's the bro code. Bro code before. Oh. No, y'all didn't have to repeat it. <laughs> that's so, that's, that word is not so politically correct uh, right now. Not yet. Okay, not just yet. Maybe in a couple more years. But first, we've got a guy who says that he is so good at picking up women that he charges other guys thousands of dollars to learn his tricks. Thousands of dollars. Yeah. Yes. Check it out. Are you a single guy looking for an edge when it comes to attracting the opposite sex? Then it sounds like you may need the services of Braddock and Savoy. As the instructors of Love Systems, they have advised thousands of men on the art of seduction. Love Systems is not just about picking up women. It's about succeeding with women. The intensive training doesn't come cheap. A three-day boot or booty camp costs $3,000. But if you meet the woman of your dreams, it'll be worth every penny now, won't it? Okay, so $3,000. Whoa. We've got the founders of Love System, Nick Savoy. First of all, so Nick, why did you start this, this first of all? It's because there were guys that just needed some serious help? Well, Tyra, when I, when I graduated from college and my girlfriend and I broke up, I moved to a new city for work, and it just it wasn't as easy as I'd wanted it to be or as I thought it was going to be. Were you heartbroken? Sometimes. I mean, I'd see beautiful women or women that I might be interested in, and they'd be going home with another guy or they'd be going out with another guy, and I just didn't want to settle. I didn't want that for myself or for the women that I was dating. So I started looking stuff up and trying things out, and most of it didn't work, but eventually, through trial and error, I started to get better at this. So I started working with other guys that were good at this, and we wanted to spread the word, and we made love systems. And you, got, you were so confident that there's like a money-back guarantee. That's true. Everything we've done since six years ago, whether it's just our, our introductory book or our weekend-long program, carries a 100% money-back guarantee. So they can get their $3,000 back? Exactly. And we have a 99.5% success rate. Like, we go through, you know, we help, help guys figure out what their goals are. Uh -huh. I'm not going to tell them, like, whether they want to marry the, their ex-girlfriend or date the girl next door or go to a club and take home a beautiful woman. Whatever it is, they tell us their goals and they tell us whether we've helped what them meet them. What type of guys sign up for it? It runs the gamut. I mean, it's not Revenge of the Nerds every night. I mean, there is the classic 40-year-old <laughs> virgin, and yeah. we actually have had guys lose their virginity on our program. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, Nick, you um, are an instructor now for Love Systems, yes. but you started off using That's correct. The, the service. Why did you start? Why did you need it? Because you look like a handsome guy that oh, didn't have a hard time. Um, you know, in high school and college, I didn't have a hard time, but uh, I always met girls through social circles. It was always she knew me or I knew her. I knew she liked me first. But as a young professional, there's not a huge dating pool. Um, so it was pretty tough. It was pretty tough to, to figure it out. So I, I got online. I found the website, the Love Systems website. And I liked what the guys were talking about. But at the same time, I was like, am I really looking at this? Do I really want to have a bunch of guys sit around and tell me how to meet girls? This is weird. Um, Do you guys think it's tricking women? No. No, not at all. No? It's not about Not at all. No, I mean, Tara, it's not, because it's not about being someone else. It's about being your best self, and it's about making a good impression and knowing how to communicate to a woman, because uh -huh. it's different. Okay, well, we wanted to see how Nick's boot camp uh, worked, so we found a very date-challenged candidate. Check it out. 
To be honest, I don't always have a lot of luck with the ladies. You know, sometimes I rub them the wrong way, I say the wrong thing, and I can be kind of awkward. Today I'm going to show you a day in the life spitting game with Charlie Mayer, and you're going to see how it is for me. Sometimes I'm kind of awkward with girls, and I give them the wrong vibe. I'm trying to get a cat. So I get in the elevator and I see this real pretty girl. She's carrying a salad. So I tell her, like, that looks like a really delicious salad you got right there. And she just gave me a weird look. It's a girl. Something I look for is a girl with good style. And when I see it, I don't hesitate to compliment her and let her know I'm digging it. But that doesn't seem to work either. I try to meet girls at bars and clubs, but it's really hard for me. I met this girl that was really hot and we started dancing and I definitely thought she was into me. She told me she was going to go to the bathroom and be back in five minutes. Well, I waited and she never came back. I was just chilling alone, dancing with some weird guy dancing next to me. Okay, Charlie, so why do you think you're not having luck? Well, basically, you know, I'm not the typical frat guy or the jock guy. So, you know, for me, I'm not also very aggressive. So I, I just wanted to do whatever it yeah. takes to step my game up. Well, we're going to see how Love All Systems right. help Charlie out. Hit Love Systems Boot Camp. Check this out. Let's see if Nick Savoy and Nick Braddock can give Charlie a crash course in how to work the love system. Well, I've been getting shut down a lot with the ladies. All right, first off, I, I can already tell something we're going to have to work on. You've got a lot of nervous sticks okay. to really calm you down. You don't really have a plan, do you? No, I just like to kind of keep it, keep it fresh and keep it fun. Do what you always do and you'll get what you always get. We're going to teach you some love systems techniques that are going to get you a lot more success. It's time for Charlie's Love Systems Boot Camp. You gotta be playful, you gotta be funny. There's a couple girls over there, you're just gonna go approach them. You're gonna say something just off the cuff and a little humorous like, this bench is reserved, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to kick you out. Get their attention and then go for it. Guys, I'm sorry, but that bench is reserved. It's got my name all over it. Do you mind if I sit down? <laughs> my friends are actually, they're coming in a little bit, but I figured I'd say what's up. Hey, how you doing? You guys are getting, getting your lunch on? Yeah. Yeah? Let's yeah. see how long this lasts before we get so awkward. Well, I would love to definitely hang out sometimes. So, like, maybe this weekend we can do something. A little busy. A little busy. All right. Well, yeah. um, I'll see you around then. All right. Okay. Whoa. Sorry, Charlie. Your biggest problem was that after the approach, you didn't generate any attraction. You were being very gamey. You're not going in there going like, how do I impress this girl? You're going in there going like, I want to have fun and I want to show the best side of myself. Let's see if he can brush it off and get back up in that game. Repetition's what's going to make this work and we're going to get into some attraction. Hey, what's going on? Hi. You look like a stylish girl, so. Thank you. Definitely a city. <laughs> you look stylish, too. Wow, thank you. Yeah, that is way more relaxed now. Um, we should exchange numbers sometime. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna call you Hot Natalie from the park. This next one's, uh, you know, a lot of guys ask us, is it okay to approach a girl that's moving? And yes, it is. It's actually one of the easier approaches there is. So basically, you're gonna stop her like this, turn her, and you're gonna say, Hi, you're absolutely gorgeous. I had to stop you. I kicked myself. So, all right. Here's one. So, go. Excuse me, I had to stop you. Yep. Otherwise, I'd kick myself. You're drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, you see, notice like how he's just like totally calm and still right now and just making conversation. Yeah. I'd like to hang out sometime. Can I get your number? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that works. Okay. but got a little bit more relaxed. I love systems, like at first, you know, I want to see what these, obviously I didn't want them to turn me into something that I'm not, but they had a lot of really good tips for me. And I wanted to know from Natalie, like with him saying that you were hot Natalie in the park. <laughs> yeah. At first I rolled my eyes and then I thought, wait, it might be kind of cute. Was it cute or kind of weird? It was cute because we were talking for a little bit before that and he just seemed like a good guy, just hanging out, being genuinely like really nice. So I thought yeah. it was flattering. <laughs> it seemed funny. like one of the one of you all's tips is to kind of flatter the woman and make her feel special. Well, only once she's showed some signs of interest in you. Oh, got it. Otherwise, you're just the pushy guy. I mean, you don't want to be the guy that's just going up and giving a million compliments before yeah. you've gotten to know the, know the woman, because she's like, I don't I haven't done anything to deserve these yet. Yeah, but he stopped a, a stranger in the park, though, so how does that... Work? Well, that's to get, I mean, you got a stranger walking towards you, you've got yeah. to get her attention right away. Oh, so eye that, contact first. 
These are the eye contact, the touch, and then, you know, I just had to stop you and tell you that you're beautiful.